Hello and welcome to OK at Home DIY. If you're new here, my name is Zaina, and in this video, I have some patriotic scrap wood DIYs for you. I'm starting out taking these planks from a fence. These are salvaged wood pieces, and I'm cutting them down to five feet. I am creating a porch sign or a porch leaner. Cut two pieces from another plank that was the same width of those two planks together. Now I am just gonna go ahead and measure my pilot hole, which is halfway down, and I'm using that measuring tape as a spacer inward. This is where I'm going to be putting my screws, and I kinda like everything to look aligned. Next, I go ahead and take my drill bit, just a little bit smaller than the circumference of my screw and I go ahead and make pilot holes and I use my one board as a template for the next kind of my little trick. Going over to my larger pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and line up the end of those and then I'm going to put my smaller piece over as a cross piece, lining that up with the edges of the board. Then I just go ahead and drill in my one inch wood screws. I do the same process on the other end as well. And if there was any ucky, yucky spots, I use this cross piece to cover it up. Next, I'm going to paint the USA. And I got these from Dollar Tree. It was one sign, took the paper off, and I'm painting them with flag red from Apple Barrel, white chalk paint for Waverly, and Admiral Blue from Apple Barrel paint. When I was done with that, I went ahead and set that aside to dry, and I was painting the main body of my board with white chalk paint. Now, I gave this just a very light coat. I was excited to let some of that vintage or that gray come through of the salvaged board but if I did this in the future I would definitely seal it first and then paint it because it really soaked up a lot of of paint next I go ahead and dry brush my white chalk paint onto my U and my A and then I hit the end with the flag red and the other end with admiral blue chalk uh not chalk paint acrylic paint from apple barrel so I thought my letters needed just a little bit more distressing, so I mix some black apple barrel paint with some white chalk paint from Waverly, and I'm gonna make a light gray. I wanted it to kinda match the salvaged wood color peeking through the white, and I was able to distress my S letter as well. When I was done with that, I went ahead to measuring out where I wanted to place my letters. I for up from the cross piece, I went seven and a half inches. And I did that both for the U and for the A. I get my end letters in first, and then I'll put my middle letters in. Using super glue gel from Dollar Tree to place my letters on. Again, this is going on a covered porch, so I didn't mind using cardboard letters. So after I get my U and my A centered, I go ahead and kind of just eyeball my S. With super glue gel, you do want to just hold it for a minute until it adheres. And that's it. Spray it with some protectant gloss and it is done. I love it. Let me know what you think in the comment box. Today is the day I am hosting my open invite challenge with my friend Marsha over at Marsha's Mush and Stuff. What would you make? We opened up this collaboration to other YouTube creators. So there is a dynamic playlist of wood DIYs down in the description box below. You will not be disappointed. Go check it out and thank you for being here today. I'm gonna cut down this scrap piece of wood to be a plaque for my eagle sign there, or my eagle print. So I do not have a table saw, and this is definitely longer than my miter saw here. So what I do is I cut, and then I flip it over, and I, I try to get my blade to go into that crack, and then I go ahead and turn it on and go and finish cutting the piece. Now it does leave a little bit of wood there to be sanded off but that is really the best I can do with the tools that I have. So I flip it around and I go ahead and do this on all the sides that need to be cut. I sand the edges and round the corners and bring it in and stain it with 
Waverly Antiquing Wax that has been watered down. And I don't wipe it off, I just actually just slather that on there and let that dry for just a bit. This is really my favorite way of staining things. I'm gonna go ahead and deframe the print here. Um, I don't really like the gold frame and so, but I really like the print. And this is actually for my son's room. I, I'm going to go ahead and tear the edges because I think that will look rustic and um, fit into his room a little bit better. After that is done, I am taking Mod Podge. So this is a print. It's a little bit thicker and it, it kind of has a glossy outer coating on it. So I took matte Mod Podge and I made sure I put a thin coat on the back of that including the edges and thin coat onto my wall placker. Placing my print onto my piece of wood, I start in the middle and kind of pressed down and outward. That helps with bubbles, but I got this tool given to me from Plaid when I joined their creative community, and this helps with bubbles quite a bit. The only mistake I think I made was I pressed too hard and I kind of got a little bit of crease lines. So I don't think you have to press all that hard. This is another tool that came there with the roller there. And this is kind of like a scraper. And I just lightly pushed along the print here. And again, I think I could do this because it had that glossy outer coat. I don't think this would work with just um, anything, but with this print, it worked really well. And after I got it to where I felt like the bubbles were out, I went ahead and put a top coat of that matte Mod Podge on there, all over the front and the edges. And here is how it turned out. I really like it and it's gonna fit my son's bedroom wonderfully. All right, these are salvaged crib rails. I saw a crib on the edge of the side of the road and I picked it up and I cut it up and I am making an American flag from these rails. I put 13 of them together and I cut them all the same size. Next, I took two more pieces for kind of brace pieces in the back. I put them down and I went ahead and drew a line with markers so that I can make sure to reline everything up if things got pushed around and moved. And you know what? They sure did. But that's okay because I had those checks and balances. I go ahead and reline up my marker pieces. I make a pilot hole and I drill through that brace piece and I try not to drill through the flat horizontal piece but sometimes I did. But after that, I went ahead and inserted the one inch wood screws. I actually salvaged these screws from that crib as well using a drill bit that's just a little bit smaller than the circumference of my screw there. Go ahead and drill those in and put down some joint compound into some of those holes. Once that's dry, sand them and spray paint this with flat rustoleum white spray paint. I marked off my blue square and all my white stri stripes and I'm using this flag as kind of my template to go off of. Going to paint my red stripes with flag red from Apple Barrel. One thing I should have done was coat this whole thing with Mod Podge, let it dry and then put my tape down. So when I'm taping or when I'm doing anything with a template, I always like to put a coat of Mod Podge on top as well. And I didn't do that either, but it's okay. So I'm making sure my tape edges are nice and smooth and down. So the leakage is minimal. Next, I just start painting my red stripes on with the flag red from Apple Barrel. I work my way down and I always make sure I get that little end because that makes it 3D and when you can see it from all directions, it looks finished. So I did paint the upper corner with Admiral Blue and I put down a fresh strip of tape right there on the edge just to get a crisp line. And I am gonna go ahead and kind of fix my mistake there but then I am going to cut out a 50 star template on my Cricut and again I'm going with the flag as my template so the stars were kind of off lined off of those first seven stripes 
And um, at this point, I knew that, oh, there's too many cracks. I should have gone with the stars down and then peeling up the stars. But I went with the cutout template here. So I just make sure all my edges are pu pushed down, put a coat of Mod Podge down, and then I stipple on white chalk paint from Waverly. Now I did a couple thin coats, and when I was done with that, I go ahead and pull off my stencil right away, and I will show you here. I think most of them turned out well, and I was going to try to fix them, but then I decided that I really love the kind of uh, palette flags that are distressed. So since my stars didn't turn out as perfect as I wanted, I went in and I just distressed that and that really covered up any of those mistakes that were made. Took the rest of the flag out and hand used my hand sander and here is how it turned out. I made sure to seal this with a coat of Mod Podge as well. That's it for all my wood DIYs today. I just want to thank you for watching today. And if you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And go ahead and leave me a comment down in the comment box below. I love talking to all of you. Remember, go check out the playlist for more wood DIYs inspirations. Thank you, Marcia, for hosting this with me. And thank you to everyone who participated in the playlist. And until the next time, everyone, you have a good one. Bye.